There is not a speech. I'm feeling There is not a speech. I'm not talking to her. I'm not talking to her. What is he? What are you, the or something? We should I was fortunate. I was fortunate. I was fortunate. I'm passionate. Believe me. I like this much. I could understand Abe's sensitivity to the Holocaust being a survivor and was moved by the support he received from the ADL mission members. But the film I wanted to make is about anti-Semitism today. And I decided to explore on my own an incident I had read about in the papers. In Moscow, a man with a knife had entered the synagogue and had started stabbing people. The incident was recorded on the security cameras. The stabbing was a shocking reminder of what anti-Semitism can be. I thought I should speak with the members of the synagogue to see how they felt about their own safety. I didn't understand. How come these religious Jews who go to the synagogue every day and are such easy targets for anti-Semites don't seem so concerned about their personal safety? I decided to ask the local rabbi in Kiev about it. The truth is that uh, for some reason secular Jews are more worried about anti-Semitism than religious Jews, if you noticed. Um, it's, it's not that way, it's just that uh, on their agenda of being Jewish, anti-Semitism is not part of being Jewish for an Orthodox Jew. Part of being Jewish is not fighting anti-Semitism. Part of being Jewish is practicing Judaism. Uh, there's no mitzvah in the Torah when you practice Judaism to fight anti-Semitism. Uh, at the same time, fighting anti-Semitism anti -Semitism is something that's important for the Jewish people, for the, you know, for Jewish communities throughout the world. And very often, uh, people that are not practicing, like you say, that's where they find their thing. So they'll, you know, express their Jewish identity in a way that they'll be fighting anti-Semitism, thereby helping the community, in, you know, in its fight for anti-Semitism. The rabbi said that it is actually an issue of identity. I wanted to know if Suzanne and Harvey Prince would agree with this theory. Yeah, I mean, can't film this because, you know, yes. I, mean, I do think that the ADL helps to reinforce our Jewish identity because we're not Orthodox and we don't have a religious Jewish life. The ADL provides a forum to be Jewish. I mean, it certainly is 99.9% .9 Jewish, and it gives us an opportunity to explore being Jewish, to look at Jewish issues, and it does reinforce our Jewish identity. Babi Yar, in the suburbs of Kiev, is a mass grave in which 33,771 Jews were shot after digging their own grave over the course of just two days in September 1941.
I think the worst thing for me, standing here, is that it could happen to yeah. Oh, God. I agree. Yeah. I can see people being marched out of Kiev and shot Marilyn, by some, some people who would decide that's the thing to do. That's right. Maybe they do it to gays. Maybe they do it to... to that's why we have to Russia, support Israel. Whatever. Israel's our insurance policy. If it was a question of the continuing existence of Israel, would you move to Israel? Yes, in a minute. Good for you, I said before. In a minute. Because as far as I'm concerned, without Israel, there isn't a safe Jew in the world. That's the way I feel. I agree. I agree. So you have two people who immediately move to Israel if you have a problem. Right. If Israel needs, you, you know, have two people right there. I joined there. the army. They wouldn't take an old lady, but I would be oh, there. Right. <laughs> so I'd roll bandages. He's asking, I don't know. He's asking a question. The so is, is that mean that you're more loyal to Israel then? No. Of course not. That's right. So how of course you, not. How, how do you like co coexist these two emotions? How do I like what? How these two notions coexist? The fact that... Easy. You love your children, you love your husband. You love your friends equally. You love your children more than you love your husband? Of course not. Sometimes. But sometimes. you might you might die for your children before you, know, you would die for your husband. It's like the question that you, you were in a life. Israel is the husband or the kids? I'm sorry? Israel is the husband or the kids? The kids. The kids. The kids. The kids. Yeah. The, kids. the Israel's love for not the a love child for Israel anymore. is love for a child. There's a love for a child that different than a love for a husband. True. There's nothing right. like a really a love for a child. It's a much more protective. Right. No, no, it's it's a much more. Uh... <laughs> okay. According to the ADL mission members, Israel is a child which needs their support, but is also their insurance policy in case something terrible should ever happen again. But at this particular moment, this insurance policy was busy being a teenager making its way to Maidane concentration camp near Lublin. השלב הבא של תשומת הלב, אנחנו מגיעים למיידניק. ‫ברזל <laughs> ופשוט עוברת על גבי הסירים ו... ומכה אותם. סתם ככה? סתם ככה. אוקיי? בריג'יט עצמאת אדם שהייתה מפקדת אה, זה. עכשיו, כמו שהסברתי קודם, שליש מהנרצחים פה נרצחו בגז, ושני שליש פחות או יותר נרצחו על ידי התת-תנאים שהם היו צריכים לחיות פה. לכו על זה. כן, נכון. מה אתם מדברות? 